Okay, so wait, let's test this baby out. Let's test this set of mouth. I'm just gonna see if it's any good at taking me. Um, I'm not giving up on the blog and I'm not giving up on YouTube, okay? It's just that October has been woo, like actually mid September to mid October has been wow because we moved to Quezon City, me and my brother. It's actually more like a halfway place. We still like like to go home on the weekends when we can unless we have work my mom was able to talk to some relatives who were actually uh, renting out boarding rooms so there that are you it's we're kind of like half in half out because like half my stuff is here and half my stuff is there and so it's been really hard to kind of focus and organize just so you know my laptop is dead and that was a major factor before moving i was like oh no what a time you know i mean i was so excited to move because i believed that i would have time to write articles focus because we'd have our own place and it'd be quiet and we'd have our wi-fi of our own and we have all that but now my laptop's dead and so it's kind of like, and I have my iPad, but it's just not the same as sitting at the table and keying in. Called me old fashioned, and I know eventually I'll have to keep up with the times, but I just still prefer typing in my thoughts and being able to focus on my photos on a big screen. So that is also what interrupted my life majorly, apart from the fact that I also had to concentrate on work because in the summer oh so there so that's also why it's been hard to focus and um it's really just an adjustment period i'm sure my brother and i will find our our routine our rhythm there i did i did plan for this video to be a favorites video thing but i guess i can show a couple of things that i've been liking first one i wanted to mention was one that i used a lot in london and i didn't mention it in my favorites video when i got back from london so it's actually a product that i think is phased out now here or if ever there are a few bottles left but what from what i heard za is pulling out last i heard they're pulling out and when i saw the counters at sm they were like almost empty so um this is za true white liquid foundation i went there to rush to get another bottle but wala na. Wala nang true white liquid foundation. So that means that this bottle that I own, this OC10 is my only bottle left. It's a daily wear foundation for me. I like it because it's like the foundation version of my Pond's Flawless White BB Cream. So this is really a favorite. I like it because it's dewy but it's not sticky. I like it because it's not heavy on the skin. It really glides. I like it because it's luminous, but it's not sparkly. It's like a glow, but it's not over the top. So I've been, I was wearing this the whole time I was in London because it has SPF 25. And the flashback actually isn't so bad. Like I wore it one time from daytime to evening and it was okay. Another favorite right now is this Nux Huile Prodigieux, which is basically face and body oil. Um, all around even for hair like right now I actually have want to put some in my hair and and it smells really nice your typical um, multi-purpose all-over oil you know it, it does everything <laughs> this one the difference between the Nux oil and argan oil is this is a blend and it contains like six precious oils it has Borat um, st. John's wort it has barrage Jojoba, it has um, primrose. <laughs> My gosh, I didn't memorize, but it has six precious botanical oils. I'll link the blog post that I did on it below. And I just really like it. But in the last month, I haven't been beauty conscious. Like, there have been weeks and several strings of days where I wasn't wearing makeup. Like, I was, or I was just curling my lashes and putting mascara. Like, no time to think like my mind was on everything else because we moved and i was getting used to trying to remember where all of my stuff is you know and while at the same time going in and out of the apartment getting stuff for the apartment and i just couldn't think i could nawala na yung 
consciousness ko na, oh, I have a nighttime skincare routine. This is my moisturizer. This is my serum. No, wala na. I mean, right now, that's non-existent. But the only thing that I've been reaching for to keep my skin sane after cleansing is this. This is like my all-around. This is for my hair. Um, this is for my shoulders. This is for my knees, <laughs> heads, shoulders, knees, and toes. Literally, yeah, this Nooks oil has been doing it all. And it's also been my scent. Sort of like a light, it's not, it's an oil, but it has a beautiful scent kasi. So, you can see I've already gone through, like, I probably, this probably like one-fourth. Oh no! It's just really, really nice. Like, and if you want a moisturizer that's really comforting, it's comforting, it's a body oil, but it's not greasy, it's quick absorbing because it's a dry oil. Um... I'm going a million miles an hour talking, sorry, because I'm squatting. Yeah, and this has been my all-around beauty product. And if you're wondering what I've been using to cleanse my skin, here in the South, it's only been, and I just finished it, so I threw it away, the Safeguard Dermasense Facial Cleanser for Sensitive Skin. Yeah, and I just went through that whole thing here in the South. And then, there naman in my apartment, for shampoo, soap, body soap, and face, I've been using up my Lush, um, you know the Lush shampoo bars? Um, they, they're round. They're actually soap na rin and they're vegan. So they're really gentle. They're, they don't have artificial fragrances and there are no harmful chemicals in it. They're saying that if you swallow a chunk of it or if a kid bites it, it's super... Um, safe like nothing will happen so i've been using that i don't have a sample of it right now with me but that they're the round lush cosmetics shampoo bars they, my favorite scent is the um honey i wash the kids but the one i'm using right now is different it's just the plain white one i've taken that on trips to pulag you know mount pulag i've taken that to europe two years ago in one bar you have your body soap you have your you it's gentle enough for the face and then you have your shampoo so wala na you don't i mean you cut back and it's just so convenient and you just have to keep it in a container that's pretty much been my personal hygiene <laughs> so you see I, i've so downscaled just to make my life sane this past month my friends in mount pulag like kasi syempre doon slightly roughing it i mean we found a place that had like a liguan and like a banyo but it, i mean it's it was still like take your turn diba people were wondering but but ang bilis ko maligo ang bilis ko mag <laughs> ang bilis ko maligo and get ready and then and i showed them that i only use this for everything na i'm not reaching for different things when i take a bath and my hair short diba i also wanted to show you this another favorite of mine for this last month is this table see i got this table at west elm um, I've always liked marble because my my Lolo, when he was still, you know, up and about, he was a marble miner and he was also a furniture, he had a furniture business before. And he named several shades of the marble that they would mine after his grandchildren. And my shade, and I'm the eldest, that's what's so funny, happened to be the best-selling shade, Julia Rose. I mean, I have endearing thoughts when it comes to marble. And so when I saw this table at West Elm, this is the Reeve Mid-Century, um, what's it called? The Reeve Mid-Century Bistro Table, Marble Bistro Table. And I saw it on Lily Pebble's channel, and I was like, hey! I actually didn't expect that West Elm Philippines would have it here because I didn't see it in store and I was like, ah, they don't have it, you know, for sure. And then when I just sauntered over to the counter and asked, would you happen to have this? And I showed them the picture in my iPad and they were like, oh, mom, it's in the warehouse. And I was like, huh? I computed. I didn't buy it right away. I took me two weeks to think about it, pray about it, ask people what they thought. Of course, people said it was expensive, but then it's West Elm and it is marble. And marble tabletops mean that it's easy to wipe down. You can even roll pasta on it. You can do ba some baking stuff on it. I mean, when you're not serving people, it can be an additional kitchen utility table. Just don't chop stuff on it. You know, just use dough and pasta. You know, it's just really nice. And so, 
there i got the table it's now in the apartment and i do plan to give an apartment tour but very you know discreet i don't want to tempt you know um shady eyes out there thank you for like being patient life just really got in the way for a moment i also didn't want to be pretending like my life was all got together you know how some people do that they set it up so that it looks like life is running along smoothly but it really isn't and i didn't want to show you something that was staged or pretend that things were neat you know i just wanted to do what i needed to do and then get back to you get excited for what i'm gonna post next i'm planning to edit that tutorial that i really want you to see and i do have some pending posts like i have a part two post on that i owe you on the maxi peel toner yes i have my conclusive thoughts on that already missed you guys and thank you for watching and hope to see you soon Bye bye